back to my channel. Today I'm finally getting back into this series that I started last year that I really really loved and you guys seem to love too, which is ranking blank Lush category. Today I'm super excited because we're doing my favorite Lush category, which is shower gels. Sometimes it's bubble bars, sometimes it's shower gels, but today my favorite category from Lush is shower gels. I seem to stock up on shower gels that are limited edition, so I actually only have three regular shower gels on me. And keep in mind this is both shower gels and shower creams because shower gels and shower creams are melded together on the Lush website, so I decided I'd meld them together in today's video. So how these ranking videos work is that I show you my very favorite first, and then I go all the way down the line and tell you my least favorite. All these shower gels are perfectly great and amazing, and it basically depends on your nose and your scent preferences and all that stuff and what you rely on in a shower gel, but these are just my personal favorites. I'd love to know what your very favorite and least favorite shower gels are in the comments because I know everybody has a different nose. This is just just my personal list of favorites and least favorites in Lush's shower gels. All right, I'm gonna get started. Number one on my list is the Olive Branch shower gel. Now, even though this is my very favorite shower gel, I actually don't have it on me. This was not originally my favorite shower gel, but this scent has grown on me so much over the years. I truly love it with all my heart. This has bergamot in it as kind of like its main flavor, AKA scent. And I just love the scent so much. It's such a sophisticated, amazing, beautiful shower gel. This shower gel is actually pretty liquidy, which some people like, some people dislike. I happen to be one of the people who like it. Um, I do like a thick shower gel as well. It just kind of depends. But with this shower gel, I really like its liquidiness. Anyway, Anyway, what I mostly like about it is its scent and then how it makes my body feel. It has a bunch of olive oil in it. If you see the bottle, you will see that it like separates because water and oil separate. So what you do before using it is you shake it up and then you rub it on your body and it's super moisturizing because of the olive oil and it's just incredible. I really like it because I feel like I can use it at any time and it won't feel like, oh, this is too like zingy right now or this is too like milky for the weather. Does that make sense? I feel like that does make sense. Anyway, I just really, really love this shower gel. I feel like it's good for all times of year and it's really moisturizing, but not too greasy or anything like that at all. Number two on my list is the Yuzu and Coco shower cream. The reason this is a shower cream is because it is extra moisturizing. If you haven't gathered already, my skin is pretty dry so I really appreciate shower gels that have a little bit of added moisture and this is definitely one of them. I am in love with the shower cream. I used it all of last summer and it was just amazing. It made my skin really soft and beautiful and it made my skin smell so delicious. Ooh, pop it. Ooh, girl. A lot of people describe this scent as like a chocolate orange which I get because it's like creamy and orangey and just phenomenal. To me this smells a little bit like coconut and I don't know where I get that because I'm pretty sure there is no coconut. In the description it does say that it's supposed to smell like chocolate orange and I definitely get that but I also get coconut and I don't know where because I don't think there's any coconut. Anyway, I'm really happy that they put this scent into a shower cream because I am in freaking love with it. I'd recommend the Yuzu and Coco. Number three on my list is the beautiful shower gel. I really, really love this shower gel. It has become one of my absolute favorites. This shower gel smells super peachy and like apricots and a bunch of different yellow fruits. It's just a super amazing product. It leaves the scent on your skin. There's nothing to complain about. I like the layers that the beautiful scent has. Here's what it looks like. It's like yellowy, apricotty goodness. I don't know if you can see that. Look at the glitter, you guys. It is truly beautiful. If you have been on my channel for like way back in the day, you will know that Happy Hippie Shower Gel was my number one product for such a long time. I still really, really love it. It's one of my favorite scents ever. Um, but it's just not way up there because it's just a gel. It doesn't have any moisturization or anything like that. But that being said, I feel like it has such a zingy, wonderful grapefruity scent that leaves the scent on your skin, which I think is really important. I truly, truly love this scent, but I don't even like the taste of grapefruit. Grapefruit is one of the most nasty things I've ever experienced in my entire life, and I still love this product. We have our grapefruit juices. Is it gross? Let me try. Let's let's do a tasting. Whoa. Where? <laughs> that is so bitter. Ugh. Okay, we're just gonna have this. Why do they get the good I know. juice? I know. Number five on my list is a new shower gel that I don't have right now, and I've actually not technically tried, but I feel like I can say this correctly. Plum Rain 
is pretty fantastical. It's not a scent that I usually go for, but I feel like I'm gonna become addicted to it very soon. It's a very thick shower gel, I believe. I could be wrong, I'm definitely making that up, but I feel like it's a thick shower gel. Anyway, I'm pretty impressed with this shower gel, and even though I've never tried it, I have many witnesses on Instagram saying that it's like the best shower gel ever, so I think it's definitely earned its place to be number five on my list just because of everybody's hype about it. Da -na 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 one surprising thing about the comforter shower cream is that I thought I was gonna like it a lot more than I actually did. This smells like you just got some freshly picked blackberries and you poured some cold cream over them with a sprinkling of sugar right when you woke up on a warm summer's morning and then you use it in the shower and for some reason with me it doesn't really leave a scent on your skin which is kind of a letdown. That being said, it smells great and it is pretty moisturizing because it's a shower cream. I'm not disappointed in this product, I just wish it gave more scent on my skin. You feel? I like it, it's good. Um, yeah, it's number six. That's all I have to say about that. Number seven on my list is It's Raining Men Shower Gel. Sorry, I get confused with the creams and gels and all that jazz. When I've smelled the shower gel more recently, it has just become more and more sickening to me. I do love the Honey I Wash the Kids scent, and I feel like if you were to put the shower gel in something that would dilute it, it would be like a 10 out of 10 shower gel. I did love it for such a long time, but then it just was like, Kind of like that. I still thoroughly enjoy the shower gel, love the scent and everything, but sometimes it's a little too much for me. Anyways, next on my list is the Don't Rain On My Parade. Don't tell me not to live, just sit and putter. Life's candy and the sun's a ball of butter. Don't tell me not to rain to rain on your parade. This shower gel is a very beautiful bluey color and I was expecting to like it a little bit more than I did. Um, it just doesn't wow me if I'm being honest. It's a very pretty color and I know people that like it. I love blueberries just eating blueberries by themselves, but in anything else like blueberry pie, blueberry jelly, blueberry scent, not my fave. All the scents in this product are scents that I usually go for 100% or 10%, so them all combined just kind of are like a meh type of product for me, so that's why it's kind of lower on the list. Next on my list is the Dirty Spring Wash. It smells like something I would want a dude to smell like. I just don't feel like I want to smell like that. Dirty is definitely like a more masculine scent that I would want to smell like, obviously like equality and all that jazz, but I just don't go for that. It smells like a freshly opened bottle of toothpaste. Number 10 on my list, which is the very last one, is the Wash That Man Right Out of My Hair. That is a very long name and I don't even, I can't even say it. The reason I really dislike this shower gel is because it's a mini baby of the Flying Fox shower gel. If you guys have ever been around for the Flying Fox shower gel, boy, you have gone through the ringer. Every time I'd go into a Lush store, I'd smell it just to give it like another chance. Every time I'm like, it can't be that bad, it is so bad. It smells like this nasty jasmine, horrific, like, nastiness. I don't even know how to describe it. Anyway, this isn't as bad as the Flying Fox, but it's kind of like a little baby of it, so it has a very jasmine-y, florally, gross, sickening scent that I am not into. I do really like the color of this, and I know a lot of people that really like this product, but I do not like it because I think it smells like poop in the toilet. Alright you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys all really enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe. It's just the red button down below. I post exclusively Lush inspired videos. And if you are already subscribed, I really appreciate it if you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button because that just notifies you for whenever I make a new video so that you can be one of the first to see it. I will see you guys all very soon and have a great day. Bye!